Hello again, Rebecca here, and welcome back to another Brutus Monroe Design Team layout. So I'm going to use um, a cardstock here. It's in a light blue. That's going to be my base today. And I'm out of room everywhere. We're going to be playing with, let's get this on here so you can see this. This is the spring showers a stencil it is a new stencil i've got a piece of paper stuck on there so we're going to be using this <clears throat> excuse me to create a beautiful background with some velveteen glaze and i think that's i can't see what it says but i will have all the links down below for that we're also going to be using some chroma mist and cobalt blue and then i'm going to pull in some shimmer mist as well in pearl and I'm going to be matting my photos with the sophisticated spring um, paper pad here. I'm going to pull out all the blue tones and like the, the lighter colors. And I might even switch that up to some other different colors in there. Let's see if we can make a very pretty background. I know there's all kinds of beautiful patterns in here for this. I've got three photos of Robbie Holden Maggie. He wanted these pictures taken so that um, at this point he realized he wasn't going to be able to hold her like that for too much longer and honestly no you can't. She would be like down to his shorts. Dog is long. Huge. So it's just three photos all in the row. I just got some random white cardstock here and a whole bunch of scraps and a small paper pad from uh, the New Day collection from Echo Park. It's almost used up, so I really am trying to see if I can get this collection used up. So I am going to do some shapes. I'm going to go, I believe, with some diamonds. We'll see how this turns out. They might end up being hexes. Not 100% sure, but I'm thinking of, like, you know, making a diamond pattern and then cutting it for the pictures to be big and then have some other diamonds out of the paper pad on there as well. And then we'll do a mixed media background on this light blue cardstock over here. So let me get these cut. I'm horrible at angles, you guys, like 100% horrible. So I'm going to cut all of my diamonds off screen. I don't have any die cut, so it's just going to be me fussy cutting. Once I get those in, we'll come back um, and we'll start on the layout. But actually, I should probably should definitely get the glitter glaze or the glitter glaze, the velveteen glaze on here first. All right, so the idea is to have a central line and then just have the mixed media peeking out around it. So I'm going to go ahead and get this started. So I feel like we should probably... Now the Velveteen Glaze, it looks shiny, but it's going to go on, when it dries, it's a matte finish. So we're just, that's way too much on my brush, by the way, in case anybody was wanting to know. I think I moved that stencil. We're just going to get a bit of the pattern on here. And it's going to take a few layers to get this on because I want to get a whole bunch covered, but I don't. Want to mess it up? By sticking the stencil on it. So we're just going to come. I'm going to fill this whole area in. Oh, 
and you'll see a lot of it's going to get covered up, but that's the fun part of the mixed media. And then you're going to get some little imprints. That one right there's in my way. So we're just going to come all the way down, leaving a little bit of an edge. So I will let this dry, and I'm going to fill in these areas that are gapped. So let's push, whoa. Push that up. And we're going to clean the stencil off on my mixed media mat here. All right, I'm going to clean this mess up. And I'll be right back. So I just created some templates and I basically cut like this one right here was a this was a four by three and then I just found the center drew the cross hatch and then connected and then cut the corners off to make all the different sizes and went ahead and cut them all out so I got the photos and I backed it in the British Monroe um, paper and then from the small paper pad I just cut out a whole bunch of different sizes so that we can you know run the little diamond pattern on up the page and however we want to figure that out it's probably gonna look something like that or so to go up the page Kind of like that configuration, and I'll never get it to look like that again. You guys know what I'm talking about. All right, and I'm going to save my patterns. So we're going to save these little guys. We're going to stick them over here in my little pattern area. So I've got, I kind of overlapped a little bit, but a lot of the central, you know, I'm going to have the diamonds going up, so that will work. And I did pull out some Velveteen Glaze in Teal Taffy as well just to kind of bring in some more of those colors so that is going to dry I do have some open spots but I figure we'll if when I line all these diamonds up if there's something open I can just grab my stencil and fill it in so that's got to dry but first let's put those to the side we're going to do some uh, splattering so we've got the cobalt blue which is going to, you know, we're doing tone on tone today. So we're just going to get this all splattered all through there. And while the ta tail taffy is drying, the splatters can dry as well. Trying to get all the areas covered. I'm just gonna be careful so I don't like dump it. You guys ever done that? I've dumped the stuff on my page so many times. Then let's just turn it to get the splatters to go in different directions. Okay, and let's come in with this shimmer mist gonna roll it back between I do it off screen so it doesn't make you dizzy and get some fun shimmers on this page just to kind of Give a little bit more depth than another layer. 
and I like the streaks. So I do just kind of start flicking it. And then we'll turn it and flick it a couple more times. So very fun. Mixed media. If you hit it really hard, you get those cool streaks. Alright, so this has got to dry and I've got to clean my hands. Okay. I splatter everything when I splatter. So yeah, that's gonna look really cool for the background. We'll let this dry and we'll come back and start adding stuff to the layout. So we know I've got some blank spots here, here, and here. You can't really tell now because of all the other mixed media on top. And the way that those colors are molding together is really nice. So let's see about getting these on here. I think the pictures look good like that. Oh, I thought I just got ink. I thought it was still wet. So let's just do it this way. Let me get this one right in there. In case you hear anything in the background, it's NASCAR Sunday. <laughs> St. Louis is getting a, well they brought him here last year, the big boy, so NASCAR is coming to, I think it's Worldwide Technology Speedway now, but it used to be Gateway International Speedway. So they're bringing in some big time races here in the city. Which is exciting because we're going to go. So I'm going to take my dad for Father's Day. Anyway, I digressed there. All right, I'm just trying to get these on here. Remember how I had it before? Because I don't. So we're just going for a fun pattern. I like to start changing my mind. Don't think this one should go there. I think we should put this one here, right? Or this one here.
go. Quite frankly, I don't like that one. I don't like that how that's working out for us there. So. Maybe we'll just hold on to that one for a minute. Maybe. Move that one there. Let's fold this one. Man, I want to get. You got to come in here and. I got cut off there, I apologize. So I did go ahead and I've got a little sticker. It says, one day you'll look back and see all along you were blooming. So sweet, a little camper, um, little die cut. Just brought in the cloud with the reins because of the stencil. Let's go outside with a little hat. And I like this saying. It says, I've never met a flower I didn't like. And her name is Magnolia, which is the flower. It's actually sugar magnolia, but whatever. So I'm going to cut this. Fussy cut this out and get this stuck on here. So that we can put just the saying on here. And get this done. So we'll get this down and I'm going to layer it upright in this little uh, diamond. And then I think we're done. We might want to put a little bit more here. I did put this little hat right here as well, but I told you a lot of it was going to get covered so it didn't actually matter where the blank spots were. All right, so we've got a little bit more tucked in here. I'm gonna come in and just pop in a few enamel dots. Let's go. And we'll put the green up there. He stays. Okay. So that's going to do it for today's layout. Don't forget to head on over to Burgess Monroe. Check out all these fun new March releases to get your spring scrapping on and some mixed media. Fabulous stencil. I didn't even get to use the puddles, but I have a plan for those as well. And our stamp pad as well, our paper pad as well. Thank you guys so much for hanging out, and I'll see you later with another video. Bye.